Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more of our Grom Brindle series. We're at the start of a new turn. Empire in Flames. They want our flame weapons? Share this technology so we get diplomatic relations either plus 10 or minus 5. Um, sure. I don't think they actually get anything from this, so... <gasps> Damn it, George. Oh my god. Okay. Really? You came all the way up here just to do it? How rude of you, madam. Ah. Alright, one more turn and then we can finally upgrade our main settlement and then get some cool buildings. Besides that, I guess we got this stuff down here. So, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, Valaya Sorrow... That's going to be kind of embedded deep into our territory, so I don't think we'll need a garrison. So we can probably just go with the... Ah, actually, probably the training depot. Yeah, let's save our money for the training depot. Then up here, the Von Karsteins. Um, man, you really need some, some love. Let's see, one, two... That's going to take like five turns to get some of these units back. Hmm. I am the White Dwarf. Hmm. Maybe it would be best just to try and... Like, pull all the way down here, or go all the way down there? Darkness calls. Or... We could just take Eshin. And then just sit in there and heal up. Because they are being attacked by these other human nations too. So, you know, we, we're probably good. That's fine. It's better war. I'm not going to call my allies on this one. We're fine. So I'm actually going to occupy this one. Ooh, Seed of Rebirth. I'm here. Hmm. Bigger loss reduction? So now we can heal in there. And you're still healing there, which is great. I'm going to give Grimgoth, since he's going to be rolling with Grom Brindle. I'm going to give you the Seed of Rebirth that we just got. Uh, you're not going to need a Dwarf Bride. Nor are you going to need a Cooper. Oh, nice. I didn't even know you had that. Um, so let's give that to... Master of also, you apparently have a gleaming pendant just kind of out there. Oh, wait, not root. Not, not root. Grim God. Because this person's going to be just kind of hanging out. But that was from gym cutters and breweries, right? This is not a gym cutter, technically. That would be Diamond Mind. So it gets down here. Hmm. Let's see. 4,000 and come from there. Holy crap. We make more up here, really? With this small thing? I mean, it is getting buffed by Karaza Karak. We do have this unique building, and yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Alright, just sit up there. What? And then Grimgot, now that we are within our own territory, we could grab that if I had enough money. Hmm, we could probably wait a turn. But yeah, I'm going to recruit those hammers into Grimgot's army. And the plan, friends, the plan. Because uh, I was told apparently Grimgot, or. <laughs> So many G names now. Grom Brindle has problems with uh, the Dark Elves, I guess. The Dowie, more uh, like Malekith. So we may... I don't know. We, we may. We may go all the way north. 
go rampaging through the north, just raising all the chaos towns that we can, because Grom Brindle's pissed, and that's what he does. And then go all the way into the Dark Elf territory with Grom Brindle and Grim God. Maybe making some kind of outpost if there's some kind of terrain that we can take up there, because I think most of this is going to be nearly uninhabitable. Yeah, like that. We'll, we'll see. But that's the current plan for Grom Brindle and crew, which would be him and Grim God. And then we're going to be pushing south with some other armies, of course, with Belagar and Root Fluffbeard. It's the current plan. Eshin, I don't really care about other than just right now. Oh, you do have Orchards. Oh, or Orchards. Jesus, English. Hmm. That wouldn't be the first building I would want to make, though. Let's make a growth building. Do I take half? Do I just take this province? Let us begin. Do we do that? I mean, it's uninhabitable, but... It does have a gold mine in it. We will make less money, though, right? Minus 15%? Mmm... I, I guess we could. I didn't plan on it, though. But I suppose we could. Alright, so we might as well take Walden off, then. So, cancel that, and we'll just use you to... Not in the plan, but now here we are. So we want to take Castle Dragon off and take that gold mine. We could hopefully make some mine, or gosh darn it, make some money off of the wine that we're going to be getting here. And then, I, I mean, wood would be nice to trade, but I definitely don't want any other provinces here. At least this province, yeah, at least this province will connect to the land that we own already. So I guess that's something. But it's gonna suck. Because <laughs> there's gonna be vampire corruption there for the rest of the game. We're gonna have to fight against, build some kind of building. Which we can. We definitely have um, untainted buildings we can make. But it's gonna be later on. And our growth is gonna suck here, so it's gonna take a long time. I'm probably going to want to do triple growth. I'm going for that uh, triple growth strat. <laughs> but yeah, the plan is not to really take any territory in the north uh, until we get close to the Dark Elves. If there is any kind of territory up there that we can take, then Grumbrindle and Grimgod is going to stop their crusade out there, get another little Dowie outpost going on, and keep going. It'd be nice if we could confederate with the Krakadrax, because then that could be an outpost in the north for us. But that's not going to happen. I love the freedom that having no additional upkeep for armies just gives you. Because like before, every single army is just super important because getting a new one just increases the cost of everything by so much. So like I could never just throw Grom Brindle and a second army on a crusade to the north. Like I would need them to expand my own territory, you know? But with that upkeep, or the mod that takes out upkeep increase, which I think is bullshit in the first place. Um, it allows you to do so much more. Have more fun with the game. At least I, I think the mod's working. Maybe we're just making so much money that it seems like it's working. In. Oh, yeah, we probably want... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Income from salt mines and die makers. Ah. Minus 10% for all buildings. I will take... What is rat poison? 
Untainted plus one. Income from mines. Causes fear when fighting against Skaven? All characters? Huh. Oh, shit. How do we get that? Oh, we need to go way back here. Then boom. Okay. And this is all about, like, untaint. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so we cancelled the upgrades here, but let's let's hold on for a moment. You know who I am. Yeah, I know who you are. So you're going to pop out. What does Drakenoff have? Gosh darn it, they got the black knights. So they have the they have a lot of armor piercing. Far guys have two hundred weapon strength? That's increased, right? They don't have that. They have a hundred and something. I can't remember. Vargos have 500 weapon strength in this? Holy f it's crap, man. Hmm. You need some time. I do not want to lose Castle Draconoff now that I've got these two, though. But I don't think these can reach. So we have another turn until we have to assault Drakenoff. Alright, so let's grab these. And... I really do want to upgrade your army before you go out in the world, but... That's the one thing. We're going to have to stop for like six turns whenever we unlock Iron Breakers and do some global recruitment. It's just going to have to happen. Alright. Yeah, I guess you two just kind of sit there and do what you do. Alright. This is being upgraded. Finally. We don't necessarily need to upgrade that. Oh, the trade building. That's what we wanted to make. Make that. And Crooked Fang Fort, again, is going to be embedded in... Deep territory that we don't need to protect. So... Trinket maker again, I guess? Just make some more money? Indeed. I guess maybe we should, after we get all these things upgraded, we should probably make a third army down there. They'll probably start it up here. And then push against Clan Moors. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Looks like uh, between the turns, the Vampire Counts destroyed or won against the Ostermark army, and then they retreated up here. Besides that, not much really changed. I am the White Dwarf. The White Dwarf. Who calls me? Alright, so for this turn, let's pop Grom Brindle out. One hack. Don't you fret, it's done. Put you up here. Stop taxing this. I'm not gonna upgrade Esh. Am I gonna upgrade Esh? I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Grab another growth building. Upgrade. 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 Uh, actually, cancel that upgrade. Let's start working on that other army so we can push south. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold up. Hey. Cancel all that. We have important upgrades here to do. So we can finally get a runesmith. Actually, no. Because we already have a runesmith. But we can get the forge, which then unlocks um, some of these. No, 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 no. Would unlock 
this. Yeah, so you need the forge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this will grant us the hammerers, the iron breakers, and shield bearers. Available for global recruitment, which is what we want. Um, oh my god, that's 7,500. Okay. Well, we're going to be building that. We can... Hmm. Oh, we also want to get that, too. You have three additional spots. But for right now, that spot's going to be... The Hall of Oaths. And then the Engineer's Workshop. Yeah, because then we can get Dwarf Engineers. So with, the, with these buildings... In uh, Karak Draws, we will now have all the units that I want in Grom Brindle's army. And it's going to be so expensive because I'm not going to move them way back down here. So we're going to have to do global recruitment. Alright, so we're going to need to save up some money, which means we're not going to be building that other army. We can afford to upgrade a little bit. Hmm, it's like even that's too much money to spend. Let's say... We'll upgrade that one. Because growth is always always good. Alright, and then I think we're going to have another turn of just sitting here, resting, and then we're going to take Castle Draken off. Nope, don't upgrade that yet. Get these vampire wars dealt with, which actually won't be even over, because we do have vampires in the south. Hmm... That's fine. That's fine. I'll find Manfred at his capital. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Friends of the Dowie. Non-aggression pact. No. Making peace with the Skaven seems almost like just as bad as making peace with the Greenskins. Ancient enemies. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. What do you want, friends? Sure. You are gonna protect our western border, so yes. Hell, I'm if I have the resources, I may even send an army that way. Just to make sure they don't fall to like the wood elves. So for that army, I'd probably make unless the wood elves have been drastically changed. Probably just make a bunch of Quarlers, because they're shielded. And they deal just basic damage, so they can do pretty well against almost all of their units. So probably want to invest heavily in Quarlers specifically. Not the Rangers, because they don't have the shields. Um, Get my axe! Why should I hear you speak, Zangonaz? You are actually getting pretty strong. So we are military allied with everybody over here. We kind of need to get our butts in gear and take these people out. They are rank 4. They're also at war with Clan Moors though too. So that's what's probably trying to keep them in check. Or what is keeping them in check. It's good to have at least one strong vampire force to, to contend with. Goodbye, Aisling. Helmen Gorst. Actually, can we reach Helmen Gorst? I refuse. Uh, Jesus. That's actually really scary. I... We can, but they can just retreat. Fearless and unbreakable. I'm a little afraid of attacking the castle. The dwarfs need me. Three of those and a terror geist. And then all these do insane weapon damage. These do armor piercing damage, armor piercing, cannon race do armor piercing. God. But that's okay. This is Grom Brindle's army. At least I hope it's gonna be okay. Fight. Continue siege. It's gonna be tough. 
But we doubt you're tough. Let us begin. Attack! Uh, the retextured Castle Drakenoff is just so big that I thought we were next to it, but we were not. No, I will not shame my clan. Move. There we go. That should be close enough. There we go. I wonder if the actual. The city's probably retextured too, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, maybe? Because I did get a mod that retextures like a lot of the big cities, or like the capitals of the big factions. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, no, actually, this looks the same. Yeah. Still looks cool, though. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be focusing here on the left side. Kazukan, friends. For the Karazanko! We are out of Dwarf Warriors. Probably gonna let the peak gate guard go into there with our heroes. Minus. Oh, fire on dint. Crutch thrower. One Kazak. For the ancestor gods. War of vengeance. Death Lord. Dino Copter. By the ancestors. Iron Drakes. Ready. Ranged firepower ready. Okay. The clans unite. See, so we're gonna get hit with the big tower rounds there. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Argos go! Kinda wanna wait for the hammers to get up here. Guard get capes in this spawn? Oh shit, hold on. Awesome. I should probably look at what they do. Alright, so they still have the centered armor, 120, only 50, 70 armor piercing damage. What is this? Oh, they have mighty knockback. So whenever they knock someone back, they actually do bonus damage. Uh, effects all as in range. Disabled if hit points are greater than 50%. Wait, what? Constant around self and effects all as in range. Interesting. 
So if they drop below 50, then this kicks in, it looks like. Huh, okay, cool. All right, hold on. We gotta pause again because for whatever reason, on these corners, it seems really weird. Yeah, Grimgoth's gonna go through, through the uh, center. See, like right here, I think we should be able to put ladders up here. Oh, well, whatever. Go there. Go over there and you'll probably end up scaling the walls. There we go. Alright, Grimgots, Runesmith. Get ready, friends. Gonna put the hero group into one thing. Let's go, friends. We want these units getting up. down get in there PK guard oh that miner just got destroyed Get out of there. Guard, we need you right there. Any reinforcements? Get over there. No, 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 no. 
I thought those were the miners. Necron miners, that is. They got that mortis engine. All right, finally got the Skolder Guard and our um, Iron Drakes up there. Damn, the PK Guards took heavy hits. Finish up these Vargos in the gates. Nope, get out of there. Get out of there. Dwarf warriors. Yes, Lord. Max is out. Lord. Kazoo, Grimgot. Get up there and finish off these heroes. Dino Cotter. No, they're going to stab us. We stay put. Come on, Manfred. You want to roll? Alright, so we got a Vargulf over there. There we go, Manfred is dead. Get in there. You have magical damage now, right? Yeah. So we should be able to just cleave through that Banshee. Hopefully. Dwarf reinforcements get in. Let's go, friends. Banshee's in. Grim gotta go take them out. We'll guard it. We stay put. We stay put. Where are you going? We demand blood. Fire on the phone. Move to attack. Don't skirmish. As you say. Move to attack. All right, we do still have, oh my God, all of their air. Jesus. War Avengers! Nothing can stop us. Go, stop, stop. Let's try and get some bombs down here. Kill them! Smash their bombs! Understood, Lord. I think we got the vampire. Okay, so now let's get up the main road. I'm hoping that we can get their flying forces to engage us close to this gate. For obvious reasons. I don't know if that's going to be able to happen, though. Strike out! Dwarf warriors! Iron Drakes! All those are out of ammunition. Wow, still dealing with these, huh? Dwarf warriors! Strike the 
Let's go. Dwarf Warriors and Jarrah Copters can finish that off. Dwarf Warriors. Now we're just gonna go march up the main road. Charge. It is a reckoning. Move now. Plow through. Get them up. Oh shit. Yes. There we go. Come on. Move down. Range far, range fast. Bump those dwarf legs. Dwarf warriors. For the ancestor gods. Alright, so the dwarf warriors up here. That's a lot of damage, so I kind of have to be careful. They can just easily kill one of our lords. At least Grimgod should be slowly healing. Wait a minute. Where's the seed of rebirth? Here they come. Holding ammunition. Ah, it's a game. Kill them. We'll take them one at a time. Guns unite. Get them. Blow through. I. Pump those dwarf and legs. Let's try and draw the rest in. For the high king. Yes. Yeah. Minus! Plow through! For the high king! Nothing can stop us! Come on, Terra guys! Holy crap, you got a lot of HP. Runes of spell breaking! Minus! Vengeance! Right on! Miners! On my oath! For the ancestor gods! Run! Down! Are they really just gonna yes. let me shoot them? Put those dwarf on legs! There we go! Anti air turrets go! Oh, just murder them. Oh, shit. Over the terror, guys. That's right, get out of here. Oh, 
Probably doing some friendly fire with our iron drakes, but that's okay. compared to previous fights. That was just so much armor piercing and just raw damage that they had on their side. That's okay, we're just clearing the way for better units. Immortality. Ask another. Damn it, Helmingors is probably gonna take Eshin. Oh wow. Huh. Holy crap, you actually have a lot of good buildings here. And the way this is set up, we just need a Hall of Heroes. Shit, now, okay, so we can save up some money by recruiting all that stuff here. Oh, that was a very good uh, thing we just did there, then. Um, yeah, so let's focus on upgrading this first. Wait, hold on. Well, that's fine. I was going to save a little bit of money, but it, it's fine. Just build the Hall of Oaths. Grab that. I kind of don't want to spend any money here because I want to spend it up there now. Uh, but I will spend it to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can't upgrade that one. Which is the one that we can upgrade? Oh, yeah, the gym mine. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Not that one. This one. <laughs> we have so many mines now. Oh, that's going to be 8,000. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to save our money for that. Okay, and then when we get the vampire area settled down with... Oh, you got, you got another one? Um, there's a loot. Then we can worry about going south. Oh, yeah, remember that place? But yeah, I think Gorse is definitely going to take Eshin. Or just didn't cast the temple off. And wait for the end, I guess. Gorse sees the writing on the wall, he's like, well, I know this is going to end. Because, like, what is he going to do? He's their worst legendary lord. Well, in multiplayer, he's their worst legendary lord. In single player, he's, he's fine.
Greetings, honorable ally. I still don't see a reason. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Hello. Clan Scryry. Okay. George the back. Yes. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Alright, so we want to upgrade this mine. And then I guess we just wait for that, but we can right now recruit dwarf engineers. So dwarf engineers. Is there anything you know, we can get? Grab an organ gun instead of the bolt thrower. Oh no, we wanted the flame cannon. What do we need for the flame cannon? Requires engineers guild hall. We could definitely acquire all that stuff here, but it may take a little bit. A little bit longer than I would really want. Hmm. Alright, well, let's recruit the engineers. Also, we really need a front line, but we're going to get a bunch of shield breakers. Or iron breakers. Alright, so they could do, let's see, 28 ammunition, 150 range, 83 fire damage. There's only 26 of them. But around them and themselves, increased accuracy and reload skill. There's no bother. I'll do it. So grab those two. Hmm. I feel like we get rid of Uthar's raiders. Uh, maybe not right now. Well, yeah, well, you know, sure. Get rid of Uthos Raiders. That would be probably better in, like, Belagar's army. He is the ranger guy. Get rid of the Bugman's Rangers. Although, getting some focus fire would still be great. Which is kind of basic crossbows. But yeah, I want two engineers. That gives us three spots for three iron breakers. So we would have the Warriors Dragonfire Pass and then three iron breakers. Hmm. How can I help? I feel like I feel like we get rid of one of these with a bolt thrower. Problem is the bolt thrower is one of our only armor piercing items. Our units. Well, I guess this is too. Well, we'll get there when we get there. When we can actually recruit him. Okay, Grom Brindle. Vigor loss reduction. Time for a reckoning. Upgrade Eshin. For the wisdom of Valaya. And I would like to upgrade your army so you are Longbeards, which we can do. Time. 
Actually, can we maybe not upgrade Eshin? So we just kind of replace. Oh, route of recruitment. Oh. Never mind. Upgrade Eshin. I guess I shouldn't have removed that one last dwarf warrior. Alright, so besides that, we're going to get those armies set up, and then we push down into... Actually, at this point, we may just want to kind of come down here and get into the vampires. Because, like, right now, Queek does not want anything to do with us. Hmm, I'll see. Come on. Right, George. Uh, let's get you down there and try and get some more technology. And in turn, is there any heroes we can recruit? When we get these Hall of Oaths up, there will be. For sure. Really, man? Alright. I get killed by Helmand Gorst. We are really injured, though. They have... Cairn Wraiths. So the Vargulf, Cryptors, and the Cairn Wraiths. Or Hex Wraiths, sorry. And then they have a Grave Guard, too. All armor piercing. Okay. And we have depleted units. We want to buy as much time as we can, so we're going to kind of deploy right there, just in range of the Vargulf. Maybe start hitting that. We will let the garrison take the initial charge. Behind those, we will have what we have left remaining of our miners. Those are going to have to focus on the Vargulfs. Oh, wait, what? Whoops. Quarrelers, ready to serve. For the carrier's anchor. Hummers, Kazoo. I am Rondos. Let's shift this line down a little bit. We have a natural barrier with this rock. You still don't... Oh no, there we go. Is it working? Duration constant. Oh, 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 active of folium melee, sorry. That explains that. Dire pack. Okay, you don't have armor piercing. Nothing can stop us. Range in target. Stop. All right, hit those. They have poison damage. Oh, of course they have poison damage because Helmet Gorst. Right, his entire army gets that shit. We're gonna need you over here to deal with the hex rays because you have magical damage. Focus on the cryptors. Let's 
Master on it. Take out the sex rays. How are the x rays not dying so super quickly? We have two really powerful magical damage dealing units there. Leader, Barracks ready for the ancestors. Pull out. Actually, no, kill those quicker. Kill those, kill those. X rays are almost dealt with. Select target for the Kalas Encore. Reinforce that. Guys gone. Yes, they out. Rage far, rage fast. All those dwarf and rage. Come and gorst. Get around, um, since they're on the edge, we need to have them fight around Grimga. The Graveguard Guard weapons are almost dealt with. They have a lot of zombies, but we can kind of shoot through those. Still have ammo, so get on one. Alright, we're gonna have to fight in kind of um, vampire count style. Get around Grim God and the um, hammers or the PK guard. This does buff people around them, right? Maybe I was wrong. Hold on. I mean, it looks like it does. Disabled if hit points are greater than 50%, which they definitely are not, and affects allies in range. Oh, no, no, it's just a very small range. Yeah, because right now Grimgut's got it. Okay, cool. 
So we gotta fight around the pill or the PK guard. Get their buff, and we're just gonna dwarf it up. Um, Conning Stein Stalkers, I guess. We're gonna use this crew to make sure that they, um, where's the feasters? Just to make sure they can't charge us, uh, charge behind us. Get home and Gorus. There we go, Helmagorus is dead. Let's the vengeance begin. We demand blood. Muster the throng. Artillery ready. For Grimnir. Yes. Vengeance. Move now! Withdraw! Aye! Vengeance! It's a reckoning! Satisfy the grudge! Get over there! Kill Baron! Oh! Strike out! Alas! Nothing can stop us! Access out! Yes, they! Vengeance! Understood, Lord! Yes! We are Get back in that fight, Dowie! Fire on the Urks! Kill Urks! Range far! Range fast! Blow through! All Dowie, get in there! Starting to break. They're realizing their mistakes. Cannot believe we have our bolt crew in here. I mean, it's just skeletal spearmen and stuff, so. Even our bolt throw crew are strong enough to deal with those, or at least have a chance. We need more bodies. Let's start shooting. Victory will be ours. Ready to strike. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Another unit off. Grim Gun and PK Guard are still here with you. Fight! We have scores to settle. Come on, us. Holy crap. Yes! God, even the bolt thrower crews are in there. Do it work. Boom! 
Boom shaka! Oh wait. What the hell's going on over here? Oh wait, the Connex Light Stalker's still alive? Uh, I mean, they're slowly dying. Right? Very slowly. Oh, <laughs> well, we wanted friends. Gorse thought he could hang with us. He could not. The amount of hit points these things must have. How many hit points do you have? Oh, that, so they, okay. Fourteen thousand? Holy shit! More durable than the Dowie. Well. Hardier. <sighs> Thank goodness for the Peak Gate Guard and Grim God. I think we're probably going to get rid of the miners in this army. Replace them with something else. Whew. That, was, that was a close fight. That's a pretty close fight. But Grim got actually ended with more health than they started. <laughs> Regen. Oh, I will take that 2,000. Gorst or ghosts? What? Oh wait, it's just you, not your entire army. But still. So now Grim got this magical poison attacks. Ho ho. Ho shit. That's pretty cool. Greetings, honorable ally. What do you want? Ostermark. I have no hate towards you. So, well, I'm already with Ostland, and you two may eventually- oh, actually, you two are together. Nah. Oh, they have a whole other army at the Moods? I thought that was it. I thought Gorse was your last. Karakadrin attacking the Varg. Yeah, alright, Ungram. I'm heading up there anyway, let's do this. I hope you actually go up there and not just declare war for the hell of it. Yeah, sure. Again, I'm going up there. Might as well do some work when we're there. I'll kill some Skaven. Oh my god. That same hero just wounded George again. They were still hanging up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, 
feel like we can take that public order hit. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. So thank you for watching. We'll finish off the vampire counts next time. Whew. And, yeah, I will see you then. Take care, everybody.